Hey, what is going on everyone? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, I wanted to create this video to share with you my insights on value add stock plays that can add significant value in the year 2021. First ticker I wanted to share with you is Sky Bioscience. Why do I like Sky so much, right? Well, they're working on a pro drug leveraging cannabinoids and bridging the gap between cannabis and pharmaceuticals by adding proprietary amino acids, bioengineering the product so that it can work towards getting into the eye to reduce intraocular pressure in patients dealing with glaucoma. Patients with glaucoma basically are blind and the only ways to reduce intraocular pressure is to have effective drug products. Now, when you look at the commercial drug products like Latanoprost and Ropressa made by large-scale pharmaceutical companies, it's really just putting a Band-Aid on the actual symptom and it's not as effective. Now, with Sky Biosciences data, according to its preclinical trials work, it's demonstrating that it has done superior reduction in intraocular pressure compared to the traditional drug products. So that just tells you if and when this drug product becomes commercialized in the long run, I have firm belief that it will definitely take market share from large scale companies. And from a share price standpoint, where it is right now at 12, 13 cents, can you imagine how much you would gain if it goes up to like three to $12 range? That's huge profits. So that's why getting in now when it's undervalued and letting it grow just like planting the seeds and letting it fruit in the long run that's how you win in this market and that's my hot pick of the year next ticker i wanted to share with you is sorrento therapeutics by the ticker srne what's so unique about this company right well they are working on state-of-the-art technology coming out with antiviral treatments in cancer in COVID-19 and they're also working on like diagnostic tests where they have a drug diagnostic product where it can test for COVID-19 in a scale of minutes and you don't have to actually send that product to like a clinic site and that's amazing because it cuts out the middleman and the fact that it has a fast cycle time with high accuracy output that just tells you that most suppliers and vendors would want to purchase this type of uh, product in the long run. And with its Covey Sticks data, <clears throat> according to Henry G, the CEO, it seems as though its product is way more effective than like the current products that's commercialized by Abbott, for example, like five times more effective. So that just tells you if and when this product gets approved through the eyes of regulation such as FDA and health authorities in like Mexico that's where COVID-19 is breaking out as well as in Brazil then I have firm belief that Sorrento Therapeutics will take market share from the large-scale companies it's just a matter of time when these companies will start making cash flow in return it's just it has to get through the phase one two and three clinical trials but the fact that it's working on a wide array of different products right now that will be approved for use not only in the United States but also all around the global markets that just tells you that positive return on cash flow will come in and from a share price standpoint it will skyrocket based on the current share price at nine dollars I firmly believe it's undervalued right now can you imagine how much you would gain if it becomes like forty dollars in share price in the long run well it definitely can because companies like Sorrento Therapeutics they're working on state-of-the-art technology with high demand these are needed products not wanted products and with Henry G as the CEO I have firm belief that it can grow significantly next ticker I wanted to share with you is Enovio Pharmaceuticals what's so unique about Enovio right well the CEO is Joseph Kim, and he has been leading and inspiring the team for many years now. And I have firm belief that from a share price standpoint, this can become an $80 share price stock if held long term. This company is working on 15 DNA immunotherapy vaccines for various diseases, whether it's in COVID, uh, MERS, Zika, infections like dysplasia even brain tumors like glioblastoma i have firm belief that it will demonstrate safety and efficacy on its dna drug platform the fact that vgx for the dysplasia is in phase three clinical trials 
it's going to be very interesting when the FDA approves that product for use and that will validate that its whole entire DNA product platform actually works. Not only do they have that DNA vaccine process in place, but it also has DMAP technology that can add value in the long run. And I have firm belief that it can grow in share price because it's also going to be working with AstraZeneca to create DMAP technology for future COVID variants in years to come because COVID virus isn't going away. And also it's partnered up with Quagen to support the VGX platform with Quagen having an accuracy diagnostic test for that type of disease. So the fact that it's working with Quagen, that just tells you that Inovio Pharmaceuticals is put on the map, exposed as a hidden gem high quality company. It's just with time, it needs FDA product approval as well as approval from different uh, global health authorities as well. From a share price standpoint, where it's at right now at the nine to $10, this is definitely an undervalued share price because I have firm belief that $30 can come very soon before the gap up to like $80 in share price. So that's my take with Inovio Pharmaceuticals and I know there's going to be more events going to be announced very soon with this company. So let's not lose sight of what it can do for you in terms of investing. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is iBio by the ticker IBIO led by CEO Tom Isett. Why do I like this company so much? Well, it leverages plant-based technology using fast farm technology if and when it's a swine flu vaccine for iBio 400, COVID-19 vaccines, iBio 200, VOP, iBio 201, Lickim subunit protein, and the iBio 100 for fibrosis gets further advanced into the phase clinical trials I have firm belief that there will be more institution buy-ins. We know that institutions are already invested in this company like Charles and Schwab, Fidelity, and other institutions buying shares of iBio because in the long run, it knows that it will grow in future state compared to where it is now. And when you look at how the business process works, it's partnered up with like Texas A&M AgriLife, as part of the growing process of its plants and taking the collagen to produce its vaccine. And the fact that this company is hiring a number of employees right now in different areas like R&D, manufacturing and purchasing, I have firm belief that it's building up its infrastructure to scale up its business strategy. And with Tom Isaac coming from large scale companies like GE Healthcare and bringing in board of directors from large scale companies, from a share price standpoint, I have firm belief that it will grow significantly and it can grow up to like a $30 share price stock. So that's my take in terms of where I see iBio going. And that's why I just wanted to share my insights with you with this ticker and how much it can gain. Um, so basically these are the tickers I wanted to share with you. And I hope that this video added value. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe to my channel. All I see is W for more related content. Thanks again and have a wonderful day, y'all. Goodbye.